Hello, this is Logan Murphy again, and I'm going to show you how to make a simple calculator form using PHP. So, as I'm going to do in just about every video, show you what the end goal is. You should be able to type a number here, and a number here. Press the equal sign. 5 plus 9, 14. So, it's pretty pretty simple calculator, it just adds two numbers for you. Um, and we're going to see what that code looks like. So we're running uh, Eclipse as an administer um, so that we can write to our inet pub www root folder um, using our Sequila folder still uh, create a new PHP file call that file um, calculator .php finish Okay, so first thing we need to do is include our header. We're going to do this for every page, well, just about every page you make. So, to get the header, we need to go to the template folder first and then get the header file. And we'll also include the footer. Okay, and we can preview this file by going to uh, secula slash calculator.php and sorry we need to include not echo include these files and you'll see this completely change now and remember what include does, it basically takes this file and where, right where you have the include at, it just does that. It does exactly that. Except we don't want it to do... I don't want it to do exactly that because I want this file to be its own thing. So, uh, we're making our calculator, we have to use a form. So, I'm telling you there's this form tag. So let's use it. Okay, this form tag has two attributes that you're going to set. The first attribute is the method attribute, and you're always going to set that to post. That's that's always. Um, the other attribute is going to be action, and this is the web page that will handle the action of submitting this form, and you're just about always going to type the same file that you're working in. So the file name I'm working in right now is calculator.php. Okay, so this is a form. First thing we need to put in the form is a text box. The tag that we use for that is called the input tag. That's a self-closing tag, meaning that the slash is right here, closing the tag within itself and this tag has a type attribute and you set that value to text and it has a name attribute so we can name this text box so we can use it later and it has a value attribute which is just the starting value save it refresh and you see that we have a text box here with a initial value of zero next we need to put a plus sign and we gotta put another text box and this text box should have a different name because it means something different save it refresh and now we have a text box plus a text box now we have to add an input whose type is submit whose value is equal sign and close that tag refresh and now we have the equal sign submit button Next, we'll put another input, which I'll copy. And this one doesn't really need to have a name. And we'll refresh. Okay, so we can change this number in here. And when we press equal sign, these go back to zero, this stays zero. And the reason for this is because we haven't written code to do otherwise. Whenever this page is loaded, it'll always load zero here a zero here 
and a zero here every single time we load this page until we write something that does something else. So, PHP, what happens? Uh, right now when I click this equals button, Google Chrome is going to send the information in this form to this page, calculator.php. So, that happens because I have the action is equal to this page. So when I click the submit button, Google Chrome looks at the HTML, and we can view that. Looks at the HTML and looks for the form, which is right here. And it says, who is handling this form request? And that's this page, so which is the page we're on. And that's usually why you do it on the page you're on, so that all the code is on one page. You're not looking all over the place for your code. And how am I going to send this form? I'm going to post this form. Okay, And it's going to send all this data that's in this form between these two form tags. When you click this submit button, it'll send all the data in this form to this page so that you can use it. So how do you use it? There's this variable called the post. You put two brackets and there you put the name of the input you want to access. So the name of this input is left. So I put left here. And I want to store that in another variable. Okay, so the value that was submitted from this form, the value of the text of the input named left is stored here. So when I click this equal sign, Google Chrome packaged up this form and set it up so that the post left will have the value of this text box. Do the same thing for right. And this is also right. Okay. Now that we have our left value and our right value, let's use it. So you can see I could type 4, 6 here and press equals, it still goes back to 0. So how do we stop that from happening? We've got to put PHP code right here in this value and echo the left value. PHP right here in this value, echo the right value. So that when I type 4 and 6 here, 4 and 6 are still there. So remember, the number 4 is inside of this text box whose name is left. Number 6 is inside of a text box whose name is right. I click on this submit button. This submit button knows that it has to submit this form. And this form gets submitted with this data in it. So left is 4, right is 6. And the data from this form gets sent to this very page. So we pretty much re refresh this page, except now it has this posted data. And this left came from this left, and this right came from this right. Now that we have these variables stored, we can just print them as value in here. And if we actually viewed the page source of this, you would see that there's no longer the number zero, there's an actual four here. And you'll notice that you'll never see PHP code on this page. PHP code is completely um, executed on the server and as the server executes code it sends any text that's meant for the um, the client sends that text to the client. So this is not meant for the client but once I say echo this thing is meant for the client. So this thing, this whatever stored in this variable will get sent back to the client. And in inst this instance, uh, we see left left value equals. Right down here we see left value equals. That's where PHP starts, takes over and prints out left, which is four. Finally, echo dollar left plus dollar right. 
that's what the calculator is supposed to do, it just adds left and right. Come back here, if we do a refresh, and now it's 10. 4 plus 6 is 10. And we can put whatever numbers in here we want. 3 plus 3 is 6. 4 plus 3 is 6. And it's always correct. This is a very simple addition calculator. Try to, uh, if you want to challenge yourself, turn this into a multiplication calculator, turn it into a division calculator, turn it into a subtraction calculator. It's very easy to change the code. Okay? That's it for this video. I'm Logan Murphy, and I'll see you next time.